Hello everybody! In this lesson I will discuss all the important theory you need to know on hyperbolas. And then hyperbolas consist of a playlist of seven lessons. I suggest you watch all of them. You will recognize a hyperbola with the fact that there is an X under the line. Now, let's start with when I give you Y is equal to 1 over X, then you will say that A's value is greater than 0 or positive. And that means that your hyperbola will lie in the first and the third quadrant. And something that's also very important is this red line that flew in, and that is called the line Y is equal to minus X, and we say that the hyperbola is symmetrical about the line y is equal to minus x. When I give you that a is smaller than 0 or negative 1, then, for example, y is equal to minus 1 over x, then your hyperbola will lie in the second and the th fourth quadrant. And there's your axis of symmetry. And that line's equation is the line y is equal to x. Here, I just want to explain the effect of the value of a on your hyperbola. The blue hyperbola is y is equal to 1 over x. The red, y is 2 over x. And the green, y is 7 over x. And there it's very clear that A only has an influence on the shape of your hyperbola slightly. Another important feature of a hyperbola is something we call an asymptote. Now, an asymptote is the imaginary line that the graph can never touch or intersect. Now, when I give you y is equal to 1 over x, that's the graph of that hyperbola, then we can say that there's a vertical asymptote. And the vertical asymptote is that line over there, which is the y-axis. And remember, the y-axis equation is x is equal to 0. The horizontal asymptote is that line, and that is the x-axis, and the x-axis equation is the line y is equal to 0. When I give you the equation of the hyperbola y is equal to minus 1 over x, there's your sketch in the second and the fourth quadrant, then the vertical asymptote is the y-axis, and the equation is x is equal to 0. And again, your horizontal asymptote is the x-axis and the equation is y is equal to zero. Now in this slide, I want to discuss the domain and the range. So when I give you the graph y is 1 over x, there's your sketch, and there's the graph y is negative 1 over x. Again, there is your vertical asymptote, it's the y-axis, the line x is equal to 0, and then there's your horizontal asymptote, the x-axis, the line y is equal to 0. Then, for both graphs, you can say the domain is x is an element real, and x may not be equal to 0. And the x is not equal to 0, that means it's the asymptote. And for the range, it's for both graphs, the range will be y is an element real, y is not equal to zero. So can you see for both, the restriction is where you find either the horizontal or the vertical asymptote. Now I want to show you what the influence of the plus q on your hyperbola will be. In the end, it will result in an up and down shift. 
Now, when I give you the line, uh, the, the hyperbola y is 1 over x, there you will see that here there's an invisible plus 0. And that is why the line y is equal to 0 was your asymptote. You can see that. This is, this is the x-axis, the line y is equal to 0. Now, when I give you y is 1 over x plus 2, then this plus 2 is the same as the line y is equal to 2, and that will become your new asymptote. So, therefore, there's your brown graph. You can see that the graph shifted upwards, and there is your new horizontal asymptote. And the equation y is equal to 2. Now here I want to discuss the influence of the minus p under the line. So when I give you the standard graph y is equal to 1 over x the hyperbola, it's the, the graph over there. Now y is equal to 1 over x plus 2. What you do is you take the x plus 2, you equate it to 0, and you find x is equal to negative 2. And then suddenly this is what happens to your graph. And can you see suddenly there's a vertical asymptote of x is equal to minus 2. So the, the minus p under the line the result will be that your graph shifts either to the left or to the right. I want to show you another one. When I give you the graph y is equal to minus 2 over x, there's your hyperbola. Now, say for instance the new equation is y is equal to minus 2 over x minus 3. So that means you will say x minus 3 is 0, x is equal to 3. And that implies there's your new graph. And that means there's an asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is still the x-axis, which is the line y is equal to 0. But the vertical asymptote is now the line x is equal to 3. And which is that line. So can you see the x minus p under the line results in a left or a right shift of your graph. In the next video, I will show you how to sketch a hyperbola. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.